Super Calum Fragilistic Expiella Mortes. What? You don't believe me? Good morning, good evening, good day, everybody. My name is Mortes, and welcome your beautiful faces back to Bro Hug Mondays on a Tuesday. I'm so sorry, but I couldn't record yesterday. I just had so much stuff on. It was just impossible for me to record. But anyway, I am here, Brog Mondays, on a Tuesday. The reason I'm wearing my GB stuff is because I'm just going out to ball hockey. And so I've got about half an hour to finish recording this. So let's get straight into it. Into the shoutouts. So as always, there were lots and lots of people who entered the competition. But unfortunately, there can only be one winner. So if you don't win this, I'm really sorry, but you can always enter next week. If you want to enter next week, then share this video on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, wherever you want to share this video, and leave a comment down below saying that you would like a shout-out. Remember, I'm more likely to give it to people who are active on my channel and who do other things like just commenting all around, liking videos, all sorts of stuff like that. So make sure you get involved on the channel if you want to win. This week winner is drum roll please screen watchers this guy is a really awesome youtuber he's pretty new he's only been doing it for a couple of weeks he's quite low on subs as well but his stuff is really really good he does all sorts of stuff he does i think he's got an organ trail series he's got some what's the name of the game again always sometimes monsters which is a really weird rpg kind of thing i think he also plays a lot of horror games he's done eerie he's done that one where you're being chased around the maze and you've got big monkeys coming after you. I can't remember what it's called. But, awesome YouTuber. As you can see, there are things coming down the screen right now. So, if you want to check out his channel, I highly recommend you do. There'll be a link in the description. There'll also be a link up here. Go and check out Screen Watchers. Awesome guy. If you like me, you'll probably like him as well. So, thank you guys. So, moving into the actual topic of Bro Hug Mondays number 6. I'm glad I got that right. That could be really embarrassing if I got that wrong. But I always get asked, like, what equipment do I, do I use for my videos? What microphone is this? What recording software I use? What editing software I use? And instead of having to go through and answer every single one, I think it'll be a lot easier for everyone if I just made a video showing everything that I use to record and all sorts of stuff like that. And then you can just see what you want. And if there's anything, even though there won't be, if there's anything that you think, um, anything else that you need to know, about what I do as a YouTuber, then you can leave that down in the comment section. But this will be a lot easier for all of us if I just make a video with Heaven and Nair. So now, going over to Mortcam. So, hey guys, and welcome to my gaming room. As you can see, it wasn't really designed for being a gaming room. This was actually the guest bedroom until we started getting work done, and now it's just turned into a place where you dump shit you don't want. I mean, just, just look at this. This is pathetic. That's my ice hockey bag. That's my dad's ice hockey bag. His sticks, my sticks, all sorts of books. You've got a huge bookcase here. There's a TV down there, a laptop bag. That's part of a computer. I disassembled all sorts of stuff down here. I've got my posters on there as well. And then this is the actual gaming, gaming area. That's my chair. Well, not really my chair. It's my office chair, which I use. Now, once I actually get this room to myself all this shit will be moved out of here and I actually have a proper place to record and I'm highly rec I'm really looking forward to that you can see myself on the screen there okay so I'm gonna start off with the most popular request which is what microphone I use now this is my microphone here you've probably seen it in countless videos this is the Audio Technica AT2035 side address microphone it is total beast mode However, I would not recommend it to people who are just starting off as a YouTuber. It's more a sort of semi-professional kind of microphone, costs like £130. So, if you're just getting into the business, don't go for this microphone, because you need all sorts of complicated stuff to use it. I'd highly recommend something like a Blue Snowball, or the microphone I had before, which was a Cord U something. I'll put it up on the screen. but. I will put links to every single piece of equipment I show in this video in the description 
and I'll probably show the names on the screen or something as well. So if you want to go and check them out, possibly buy them, all the links will be to Amazon so you can do that. So I've got my microphone here, AT2035, and then I've got my XLR cable. This gets rather confusing. It does. I might as well just film that. Um, so it goes all the way around the back there, down there, and then it comes out. I hope this isn't too dark. Probably is. Comes out here, and this, I believe, it's, is it here. This goes into my Bayringer PS400 Micro Phantom Power Supply. This is one of the things you need to run this microphone, you need phantom power which isn't incorporated into the computer. So this cost me like £20, a really good deal. So from there, the XLR cable comes out, goes back up there, comes out here, it's this one here, and then plugs into my, um, my USB hub, which then in turn plugs into my computer. Now, I can't really tell you much about this computer straight off, because I don't really know. However, I do have the, all the stuff about it upstairs, so I'll put all the like stuff it does, you know, all, all the part names, all sorts of stuff like that, its performance, in the comments section. No, not in the comments section, in the description. Uh, so you guys can check that out. All I know it was, it was a custom-built gaming computer, cost about £500. So, moving on to the rest of the stuff on my mic setup, I've got a really, really cheap pop shield, cost me like £7, but it definitely does the job. I don't even know what company it's from, probably like Electrovision or whatever they're called. This is a Tiger Boom Stand, it's pretty awesome, however, I do sometimes have problems with the legs, but it definitely does the job, cost me £20, so that is good. Now, what are we moving on to now? This was a very cheap lamp, which I got from Ikea. I think it was like £20 as well. This is how I get such amazing light um, on my videos, on my face cam. A lot of people ask me that, how I get such good lighting, and that is because I've got this baby shining in my face all the time, and plus that lamp up there. They're on all the time for all of my videos. So what am I moving on to next? Next is the webcam. This is a Microsoft LifeCam 1080p. It's a total beast, apart from the fact that it sometimes has brightness and focusing issues. It focuses in on things other than my face, which is what I sort of wanted to focus in on. Um, plus, it's sometimes when I'm doing horror videos, it sometimes like makes my face really really bright as you'll probably have seen in some episodes of Amnesia. Um, ah, I haven't talked about actual my keyboard or my mouse. This is a Microsoft Sidewinder keyboard. It isn't the best, I'm probably going to get another one soon. But you know it definitely does the job, it's quite nice. It's got like different light settings, so if you can see the keys light up and then you can, no that's not it, that's the right button, there we go. So you can change how bright the keys are. Oh god, I've broken it. I've broken the keyboard! Okay, let's just move away from that now. And onto my mouse. This is the Rat 3 mouse. Um, it's pretty awesome. I, I might get another one. Uh, probably not soon though, because I kind of like this mouse. It's really awesome. Rat 3 gaming mouse. Uh, you've got all sorts of adjustable buttons and stuff on there. Um, and finally, I think this is the final thing, isn't it? I think this is the final thing. I've got my gaming mouse mat. As you can see, it wasn't designed to fit on this desk. It sort of hangs down a bit. That's what she said. It's an Ozone Gaming Gear Evolution large or extra large mouse mat. I don't know why I got an extra large one. I just felt like it. And I think that is actually... Yeah, I think that's actually everything I use. This is my Acer Aspire 1 netbook, if I can actually open it. There we go, not that interesting. It's pretty, pretty bad for the stuff I use with it. I, sh I should probably get a real laptop. If I ever actually earn any proper money from YouTube, I will buy a proper laptop with it that I can actually record my webcam with. Um, headphones are Marshall Major headphones cost about £80, they're real nice, they are a bit uncomfortable if you wear them for over an hour though, which can be a problem. Now, actually we need to move into programs, don't we? So, um, for recording webcam, I use Microsoft LifeCam, which is the free program I get with it, 
um, for recording my microphone, I use Fraps, um, which is, you know, everyone knows what Fraps is. Fraps is just a recording software, game, you know, screen catcher kind of thing. And then, see if I can get it loaded up here. There we go. For recording game sounds, I use Open Broadcaster. Now, Open Broadcaster is a bit like Camtasia, as in you can record lots of different things and stream them to places, except it's free, which is pretty awesome. Um, and then the last thing I need to move into here, if I can just open it up. Oh no, I've got one more thing after this. I've got so many programs that I use. Is Sony Vegas. Now, I use Sony Vegas. There we go. Sony Vegas Pro Platinum 11. You probably can't see this very well, but I use Sony Vegas Pro Platinum 11 for all my editing and animation and stuff that I do in my videos. It's it's awesome, though I would recommend if you're gonna buy Sony Vegas, I recommend you buy Sony Vegas 12 because it does have a lot more features than Sony Vegas 11. Okay, moving into... Right, here we go. Now you see I, I put a lot of work into my thumbnails. And the program I use to do that is actually GIMP. GIMP 2.6 is the version that I use. Um, GNU Image Manipulation Program. It is not some sort of strange sexual reference. It is an actual technical shizwaz thing. And um, I use that for making all my thumbnails. Sometimes I use it for making objects that I use in animation. It's just a, a pretty awesome um, free software. I prefer it to Adobe Photoshop because I'm just terrible with Adobe Photoshop. And then the last thing, of course, I use and every good YouTuber should use probably the best program Microsoft has ever made Microsoft Paint. Oh, yeah. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this rather different episode of Bro Hug Mondays. As always, if you want to ask me any questions about like anything else that I do as a YouTuber, any other equipment that I use, even though I don't think I use any, any other programs I use for specific things, then leave that down in the comment section. Also, if you want recommendations about what equipment or programs you should use with the budget that you have, then leave that down in the comment section as well. So the last thing for this episode is just to say, make sure you go and check out Screen Watchers. If you haven't already deleted the link, the link will be up here somewhere. So go and check out his channel, go and click on the link, watch a few of his videos, see if you like his content. And if you want to shout it for next week, share this video on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, wherever you want to share it. Then leave a comment down in the comment section saying that you would like a shout out. And that's it for this week. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to like and subscribe. I think I need to go now. Need to go off to ball hockey, make some snipes. Hashtag snipe, silly. No. No, that's not how it goes. Dangle Snipe Sally. Hashtag Dangle Snipe Sally. And I'll see you bros next time.